Hello, I'm Mick Broomhead with the latest headlines from the Books and Advertiser News Desk. An air ambulance landed in the middle of a street to save a man trapped under a wall. Derbyshire, Leicestershire and Rutland air ambulance crew made the dramatic landing on Granby Road in Fairfield last Thursday. It's thought the 56-year-old had been demolishing the wall when it collapsed and trapped him. He's said to be recovering after being airlifted to Withenshaw Hospital. Pints of milk, not beer, are being sold in the Queen's Arms in Taddington. The pub has opened a new shop 12 years after the last shop in the village closed. Landlady Jane Allen has converted her pool room into a store selling convenience foods ranging from bread and milk to locally sourced meat, fruit and vegetables. Yesterday morning somebody came in. Um, he saw it, so I got all this morning, he says, I just fancied the breakfast. He says, my wife ain't got me any bacon. So he came down and we had bacon and my husband served him. And he says, oh, he says, are you camping? He says, no, I actually live in the village. But he'd never actually been in the pub before. It's gone absolutely brilliant, much better than we actually expected. It's just, there's been so many people about. And, he was, you know, and it's proving that we do need a village shop. Now, what do talking tortoises, Daleks, Doctor Who's TARDIS and a giant dinosaur head have in common? They're just some of the attractions at the Science in the Peak Festival at the Devonshire Dome in Buxton. It's for 4,500 secondary school pupils from across Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire will visit the event. It culminates on Saturday with a free Science Fun Day which will be open to the public. Davey, what do you think are, the, are going to be the, the main attractions here this weekend? Well, the main attraction at the weekend when we're opening to the public, um, of course, we've got uh, Johnny Hall who's coming. Uh, we particularly wanted to put that on at the weekend because maybe some of the younger kids coming haven't heard of him, but uh, the parents will come, up, hopefully come along and see him and then bring their children along as well. Uh, it's great that we've managed to come out to Buxton, actually, because so many of these science events are based... Uh, they're either um, established ones, like in Cheltenham, or they're based in cities, and it costs a lot of money to try and get out into the countryside. One of the main reasons we wanted to come somewhere like Buxton is to offer this opportunity for um, school children to, from the countryside to come and see it. And in local sport, Chapel's Feasy Brothers helped end Buxton Cricket Club's winning run in the Derbyshire and Cheshire League on Saturday. Buxton posted a competitive first innings score of 176 for 7. But despite being reduced to 28 for 4 at one stage, Chapel batsman Gary and Neil Feasy steadied the ship with a 22 over partnership. Gary eventually fell for 37 runs but Neil remained unbeaten on 84 to secure a free wicket victory with four balls to spare. And for more on these and other stories, see Thursday's Books and Advertiser.